morning, good morning. It's three o'clock a.m. I'm on my way to the gym. It is a beautiful Friday, and I'm gonna keep this one very short, and I'm gonna keep it very simple. I do believe, emphatically, that you can live a worry-free life. That you can live a problem-free life. I believe this. I truly believe it. I am truly at a point of discovering something that is probably going to be the biggest breakthrough of my life. I think of, of my life, of a person's life, of a, 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 a creature's life that exists on the face of this earth the biggest breakthrough and that simply is one the fight and the battle that keeps going on in my life is not about money it's not about cars it's not about houses and sometimes it's not even about relationships with other people not even your wife not your family not your kids because all of those things are things that God has given to you. Let me adjust this real quick. There's simply things that God has given to you. And what God has given to you, nobody can take away. But those are things that are, the devil will use, he'll test those things. See, he can test those things. He can make you miserable during those things. He can't take them away, but he can test you under them. He can break the car down and make you curse God. He can uh, steer your child, especially if your child is not grounded. He can steer your child around because there's a lot of things that can distract and deter your attention. And it might not be something that can distract or deter you because you might be too smart for that. But your child, if they don't have the right knowledge and ability, they very well could become victims of the very thing that you know to stay away from. Kind of like Adam and Eve, they know to stay, you know to stay away from that tree. You know the story, you've seen the, you've seen the case study, you know what's going on with that. But your kids, on the other hand, they don't always possess the knowledge and the ability. And us as adults, if we don't instill that in them, they become vulnerable. So now they become something that is being used against us as well to, to, to move us off the path of where we need to be at. Or let your finances hit the ground or you decide to get this big payoff, this check, and you decide you want to go to the casino and you have an off night at the casino and you lose all that money. Now you're back to fighting and arguing with your wife or your husband, whatever the case may be, because you don't lost the money. Now there's turmoil inside the home. See, all these things that was given to you are simply now being used against you. Or there's something that's coming up that's creating some type of strife or some type of uh, anxiety or animosity or anger inside of you that is creating a, a gap or a space between your relationship with you and your creator. Right? But I'd have you consider something. I'd have you consider for a second that those tests that are coming up against you are simply, simply temporary. I mean, I've tested it. I, I, in the last couple months, I've probably seen about seven problems. And if I think back to who I was, those seven problems, well, I would have been done at number two. Number two would have completely knocked me off my horse. But through each one of these problems, I simply said, if it was a transaction during real estate, we'll get the deal done. And the moment I said that, a solution came about. It could be with my wife. And the moment I said, nothing's going to come in between our marriage a solution came about 
It could be with our lawyer. It could be with our, uh, um, our finances. The moment we say we have enough in our finances, another check comes in. The moment I start thinking, where am I going to get more business from? And I say, just do what you know you're supposed to do. More business comes. The moment I challenge the problem back. Ah, this is the catch. The moment you start challenging your, your, the problem back. And I heard this yesterday and that's kind of cool. This young lady said this at our office meeting. And she said she started challenging, she started challenging the thoughts in her head. The moment you start challenging the thoughts in your head, where the battle starts at, you just won. You will win 10 out of 10 times the moment you have enough faith the moment you have enough awareness to know that this is not your battle and if something has been given to you nothing can take it away but the battle going on up here will have you thinking that you're losing it you're not worthy of it you don't deserve it it was a mistake and once you start letting those creep into your mind, then you start doing things to sabotage and set yourself up for failure. And when this young lady said this yesterday, after the meeting, I went up to her and I said, that was powerful. Because a lot of people, instead of challenging the thought in their head, and coming back with a solution, most people are trained to react. I had a conversation with my wife a couple days ago. I had to deliver some news to a client about a situation that was going on, and the client uh, immediately reacted to it in, in an emotional way. The way I knew it was an emotional way is because what they were saying was, I'm not gonna do or this ain't gonna happen and they were going on, they were using a bunch of emotional phrases that led me to, to believe that they were caught up in the moment. There was a feeling attached to what they were saying that gave me the impression that they weren't happy with things. And I told my wife, I said, I refuse during a business transaction to engage or to even, even, even give, give, light even give light to somebody who will e immediately start reacting emotionally see I have a test inside of me and that test or my tester for other people is that how do you react under adversity if you at react emotionally then I typically will start acting more anal and analytical because we can't both be emotion but you see how easy it is to go from 0 to 60 when something happens and go 0 to 60 in the direction of your emotions which typically are going to be wrong or lead you in a bad direction because that's exactly what they are they're motions they're like the water. There's no rhyme or reason. They rock back and forth, up, down, left, right. It is what it is. It's fluid. It's not solid. Versus taking that same situation, taking that exact same situation, and instead of acting emotional to it, Use faith against it. See, because faith is simply what you want. If you had to put a terminology or a definition behind faith, faith is what you want. Faith is the belief in something that you want that you don't necessarily have. 
So when you start speaking faith words at the problem, you will start seeing a solution. But I've yet to see too many people that when a problem arises, and I'm not talking about one problem, I'm talking about two problems, I'm talking about today the car broke down, tomorrow the AC unit went down, the next day your kid got into a fight, the other day your, your, your father passed away, the next day your job got shut down. I'm talking about when you start seeing problems like that and you still can stand up and you don't want to die because I've had those problems. I've had those problems. I've had those problems. Where it was one huge, huge catastrophe after another. And I've still made these videos. I still went out and did my job. I still encouraged my wife. I still was writing notes to my kids. Because I much rather speak faith into it, which is the belief of something that I want that don't, I don't necessarily see, than to speak up the problem and to feed it. So at the end of the day, when a problem comes your way, are you praying or are you complaining? What are you doing?